welcome to Math is Fun Demental. Today we are going to learn all about conditional statements. So, first vocab term, we have a hypothesis. A hypothesis is the conditions that are necessary in order to reach the conclusion. So it's not going to be a full statement, it's only going to be part of the statement, just the conditions that we have to meet. For example, I might have um, the measure of angle A has to equal 15 degrees. And that might be my conditions that I need to meet. All right, now conclusion is the result that we get if those conditions are true or if they're present. So for example, here I could have angle A is acute. So again, it's not going to be a full statement. I mean, it, it almost looks like it is, but you'll see in a second it's not the full statements that we have here. Um, it's just what happens if our hypothesis is true. So now we get into new things. So conditional statement is a logical statement in the form if, then. And it always is if the hypothesis, then the conclusion. So let's use this same example here, and we're going to have if the measure of angle A is 15 degrees, then angle A is acute. So it's an if-then statement using if and then our hypothesis, then and the conclusion. Now here I have another column symbolically. In geometry, we use P's and Q's when we talk about conditional statements. So our hypothesis is always the P and our conclusion is always represented by Q. Now I say always, they might use different letters, but a lot of the time they do use P and Q. So here in a conditional statement, I'm going to have if P, then Q. And if we want to get even more symbolically, to represent a conditional statement, sometimes you'll see it as P, and then an arrow, and then Q. This means P implies that Q is true. So if P is true, then Q is true. All right, a converse is when we take a conditional statement and we switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. So if we take the same example and we switch it, we get if angle A is acute, then the measure of angle A is equal to 15 degrees. So symbolically, I would have if Q, then P, or even better, Q implies P, or Q and then an arrow and then P. All right, uh, next one, we've got two more here, types of statements. So an inverse, we just did converse, now we have inverse. An inverse is a conditional statement where the hypothesis and conclusion are negated. That means um, negative, so, so it's like the not version, if you want to think of it that way. So we go back to the original conditional statement, the original hypothesis and conclusion. We're not switching them. So I'm going to have if the measure of angle A is not equal to 15 degrees, that's our little symbol for not equals, it's equals with a slash through it, then, oops, if, <laughs> then angle A is not acute. All right, so it's going to be if not P, then not Q, and symbolically, to represent that negative, that not, we use a, a little squiggle. So squiggle P, arrow, squiggle Q. Squiggle P, squiggle Q. All right. And next one, we have the contrapositive. So the contrapositive is when we switch the hypothesis to conclusion and make them negative. So we're taking and combining both of these changes. So now we're going to have if... And remember, we're switching the hypothesis and conclusion. So we want the conclusion to come next, which if we come back up here is A is acute, but we also want to negate it. So we want if angle A is not acute, then the measure of angle A is not equal to 15. 
All right, so here we have if, oops, should capitalize that. If not Q, then not P. Or symbolically, we've got squiggle Q then, or implies squiggle P. Okay, so there's all of our different types of statements for today. We've got conditional statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Now the last part of this lesson talks about logically equivalent statements. Logically equivalent statements are pairs of statements that have the same truth value. So it, they're either both true or they're both false. So in order to look at these, let's go back up and talk about which ones of these are true and false. And I'll use my red pen, we'll just do T and F for true and false. Okay, so here, let's start with conditional statement. If the measure of angle A is 15 degrees, then angle A is acute. Well, we learned that an acute angle is an angle between zero and 90 degrees. So this would be a true statement in this case. The converse says if angle A is acute, then the measure of angle A is 15 degrees. Well, that's not always true. I can think of an acute angle, 30 degrees, that's not 15. So this is actually a false statement because I can find a counterexample for that statement. All right, the inverse. If the measure of angle A is not 15, then angle A is not acute. So now it's starting to get a little bit more complicated because of those negatives. We need to think about that counterexample. So we want the measure of angle A to not be 15. We can't think of 15. You have to think of a different number. But that angle A will be acute. We want this second part of the, of the inverse statement to be false for our counterexample. So if the measure of angle A is not 15, so let's just say it's 30, well, then angle A is acute. So again, this one is false because I can find that counterexample. Just because angle A is not 15 doesn't mean it's not acute. All right, and last one, count, uh, contrapositive. If angle A is not acute, so we want to think angle A cannot be between 0 and 90 degrees, then measure of angle A can't be 15. Well, that makes sense. If angle A is not acute, it cannot be between 0 and 90, then it can't be 15. So that would be a true statement. All right, so here, and this, is, this always works out this way, our logically equivalent pairs are always going to be the conditional and the contrapositive are always going to be logically equivalent. So I'm going to write conditional is, and I'm just going to say equivalent, so I'm just going to go equals to the, let's see, conditional and the contrapositive, contra, pause, okay? And the converse and the inverse are always, converse is always equal to the inverse. Now, they're not the same statements as we saw, but they're always logically equivalent. If one is true, the other is true. If one is false, the other is false. All right, and short little lesson today. So that concludes our lesson. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, math is fundamental.